Hello, I'm Ellen Goldberg, and welcome to the Language of the Hand. In this segment, we're going to look at the lifeline. The lifeline could very easily be called the line of constitution because it shows a great deal about our vitality. Does it show how long one lives? Well, this is a question that's hard to answer. Occasionally, it does, but often it doesn't. Can you know if it does and when it doesn't? This takes a little bit of skill. Many people live far longer than their lifeline indicates because of many factors, one of them being will. And other people with fine looking lifelines, I've seen them go earlier than their lifeline indicates. What we can count on is this. The lifeline will show how long energy is a gift while it's deep and clear, and you see that I've drawn here on these examples, deep and clear lines that run a long time. In fact, we have an image to show you. In this image, you'll notice that the line is clear, deep, and right. it curves around uh, the Mount of Venus. In fact, it is the border for the Mount of Venus. And you see it is unbroken and clear all the way down. This person is ambitious and is always striving for something. How do I know that? I know it from the small lines that rise up off of this person's lifeline. Look at the picture carefully and you'll notice that little lines rise upward. Those are lines of aspiration. At a certain time in life, some people have them actually falling downward and you know that they're on the downward slope of the life. Often that happens later. But some people have these small striving lines all their life and you know they're an aspirational character. If the lifeline is deep and clear, the vitality is a gift. If the lifeline is thin and clear, especially if it's thin in relationship to other lines in the hand, then they must take better care of themselves. The lifeline is one of the easiest lines of all to change. It responds to changes in thinking, changes in health habits, and responds to meditation and to nutrition. You have many ways you can go about healing them. I've seen breaks in lifelines heal within months. So you can do this for yourself as well. Notice the arc that the lifeline takes around the Mount of Venus. Sometimes it swings quite wide. And if it does, it means that there's a lot of warmth because the lifeline shows how much room for Venus is there in the hand. And Venus is the very essence of love and life itself. When the lifeline swings wide, they are juicy, warm, loving people who can include much in their life. But every once in a while, you see a lifeline that swings narrow. This is called a restricted Venus, and that because it restricts the warmth and flow of love in Venus, it also has a tendency to reduce life expectancy, for warmth is associated with life. And a restricted lifeline brings in a certain coolness and lack of expression of emotion, and that shortens life. People with a wide swinging lifeline and a full mount of Venus love love. People with flat Venuses and a restricted lifeline, they are not so interested in love. They are not so interested in sex and they certainly would not be very interested in children or if they had them would not be demonstrative affectionate parents. Look and see if there are any special signs on your lifeline, sometimes a lifeline appears to be a short lifeline. Just pretend that lifeline only went this way and you think, oh my God, is my energy gonna run out? Check it out more carefully and see if the fate line which runs nearby or a second lifeline is gonna take over the energy. If the ends overlap, it's what we call a self-repaired break and the energy will get through. If that new line gives more room to Venus, then the life expands. Every once in a while, it gives less room to Venus. It jumps inside instead of outside and the person is going to go through a period of withdrawal and inner life. Maybe they're going to retire. Maybe it will jump out again. 
One last hint about the lifeline. If it is short, and if the line of fate or Saturn's line is going to carry the current, because it certainly can, and it does on my very own hand, look for very thin lines which sometime appear that connect the two. All you need is one, but you may find more than one. That little connecting line is called a line of preservation and it acts as a shunt for the energy because in the lines our main concern is, can the energy get through? Will the current of life be lost? There's a line of preservation or a self-repaired break. It certainly will not be. Thank you.